Considering the request contained in the letter from Governor Adam Sushumule, the lawmaker said since the loan is tied to capital developmental projects, it was proper to pass the resolution in order to assess the loans. According to the majority leader, Barrister Folio Gidigbe and some other members who expatiated on the relevance of the 10 billion Naira loan from the CBN, it is expected to be paid back after a period of 20 years with 9% interest rates. It is a loan approved by the federal government, just like you rightly said, and it's across the board to all states of the federation. And uh, for us to assess this loan, Mr. Speaker, there's a condition that the resolution by this Honorable House be passed, authorizing the, the state government to so do. Mr. Speaker, I'm aware that it was because of this loan and part of other money, the public government made a promise that between now and November next year, is going to have six billion. Uh, invested in education in the state. The speaker, Victor Eduro, said the CBN loan is a welcome development since it was solely for infrastructural development. Flat rate of 10 billion as infrastructural bailout for all the states in the federation. As we have heard, it will include the period of 20 years and a 9% interest rate. Also at plenary, the House mandated the state government to commence immediate rehabilitation of Ibiwe Road once funds are available. This was one of the recommendations contained in a resolution adopted by the legislative arm in connection with the petition sent by Ibiwe residents. Other recommendations include that the Rapid Response Agency should be mobilized to effect repair on the road, the drains deserted by the Ministry of Environment and Public Utilities and where the local government, among other recommendations. The legislative arm also confirmed the clerk of the House, Barrister Abiyemese lost in Ugiagbe as the substantive clerk of the House. The Chairman House Committee on Works, Festo Sidugili, also presented a report on a petition from Upper Adesua Road residents. The Speaker also congratulated the two legislators who triumphed at the election petitions tribunal. Sitting continues. Efosa Wangwe reporting.